Am auch Kakao. Ah, ich mag keine Spiele auch. It's your girl Fire here, and in today's video, I want to share with you Hawaiian slang part four. If you are ready for this, stay to the end of it, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. I do read comments every now and then, and I have came across some comments that have been asking me to teach you guys Hawaiian sentences, how to ask this in Hawaiian, how to say this in Hawaiian. And let me just say, I know some Hawaiian words, but sentences and phrasing in an actual Hawaiian conversation, I can't do that. Like that's, I was never taught and that's just what it is. But there are some things and some resources that I probably could share with you guys if you really truly and passionately want to learn the language. Um, some things might cost you, okay? But if you're passionate about it, then go for it. Some free resources obviously would be YouTube. Go on YouTube and there are some people that actually teach the language for free or just for fun, just to share the language. And then if you want to buy um, somebody's time to teach you, I highly suggest that you go to this guy. I hope that I'm not stepping out of my boundaries by recommending him, but his name is... Um, love his voice i love his music and he he can teach you but it might cost you okay it might cost you i don't know how his pricing is and stuff like that but if you truly want to learn the language you need to go to this guy because i'm not i'm not even i'm like the worst person to ask these words i've gotten a mixture of comments i've gotten a mixture of my family and friends from what i remember one of them being portuguese i'm sorry i'm i didn't make it up i hope i am not offending you if i haven't already by making these videos like portuguese is simply a person that is portuguese not the portuguese sausage in other terms, Portuguese could possibly mean weird or backwards. Um, they associate that terminology Portuguese with being backwards. For example, if it's 95 degrees outside and you have on a hoodie and a raincoat with flippers and a baseball cap, that's Portuguese. Okay, that's so Portuguese. Like, why are you wearing? Like, you know what I mean? Why are you wearing that? That's weird. <laughs> Next word is oof. Oof means to, you know, get it in. Yeah. Have sexual intercourse. Would you like to oof? You like oof? Like that's, <laughs> that's how they would ask you. But next word. The next word is borinki. Borinki is a person that is Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican man, you borinki. Puerto Rican woman, you borinki. Puerto Rican kids, yeah, they little borinkis. Next word is chicken skin. I don't know if a lot of people use this. Um, I know here in the great red, white, blue America, um, they say goosebumps. So that's just kind of like our way of saying goosebumps. Chicken skin, you know, when you feel something eerie or you see something and it kind of really resonates with you and you just like this, or you're really cold and you just get chicken skin. Keep it here on a boy boy. All of you, huh? Oh, he just cast a spell on us. <laughs> the next word is actually a Hawaiian word. Um, I don't know if I already said this one, though. No. I don't know. Um, this one is kao kao. Kao kao means to eat. You like kao kao? Are you ready for kao kao? You know, eat. The next word is lolo. <laughs> lolo, I don't know if this is Hawaiian or not, so don't quote me. But um, lolo means crazy. We met a few lolos in our lives, right? You know, you probably lolo yourself. The next word is holo holo. Holo holo just means to go, go play, go holo holo, go mess, not mess around, but go um, joy riding, go cruising. You know, cruising's another one um, that we say that means hang out. Next one is hamajang. Hamajang means Hamajang, Hamajang, Hamajang. What Hamajang means? It means 
Ah, oh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Let me go. Let me know. Let me know. I don't. I don't remember this one. This word is from um, a comment. I don't remember what hamajang means. I know if somebody was saying it to me, but right now my brain is just like small kind lolo. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what hamajang means. The next word is kind of like a greeting, um, something that we say to say, hey, hello, how's it going? What's up? You know, that type of thing. Um, we say, sup boy. Or you can say, what you f What you fuck? I like fight. And one brother that no protect him face because he's too busy pulling his shorts up until the white meat show and all he throw is head kicks. From the underneath you go the next one is niele niele means nosy a lot of you females are very niele these days these f pilau tunas if you guys don't know what pilau tuna is check out the third hawaiian slang video i explain it perfectly in there because there's a lot of you out here that are very niele niele means nosy the next word is like sample when somebody asks you like sample please run because like either they're trying to fight you or more 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 grossly they're trying to get some of what you got down there by the way cuz i met this sexy blonde tax attorney at starbucks today uh-huh i told her you the kahuna she want to have fun on this island uh-huh you want her number you pimping tourists for me again ola yes i live vicariously through you remember my life sucks. Now come on, give her the white kiki kiki sneaky between the cheeky. You wanna try it out? You wanna see what's good? <laughs> That's what that means. The next word is noak. I actually say this a lot, and this is to people that try to like make light. You talk to them and then um, they'll say something to you and then you'll be like, noak. Like, or they'll over, be overly confident and then you'll be like, noak. Like, please, don't 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 do don't do the most no act okay the next word is choke choke means plenty of i get choke friends i get choke money i get choke stds you know what i mean <laughs> like choke means just a lot of plenty of the next one is calabash calabash cousins calabash sister calabash brother calabash auntie whatever calabash mom Calabash dad. Calabash means like we're related because we grew up with each other. We know each other, but we're not related by blood. You're related from growing up together. Calabash. Yeah. Next one is moi moi shishi nai nai. I don't know if it's Japanese language, but it deprives, deprives or derived, derived? Oh God, I need to go back to school. Don't mind me, I'm from my pahu. Moi moi shishi nai nai means to eat, sleep, eat, shower, go sleep. Eat, shower, go sleep. Moi moi shishi nai nai. Yeah, eat, shower, go sleep. Next phrase expression is no can handle. No can handle just means like you can't, you can't hang. You're, you're weak. Sauce, weak sauce. If you overly drink and then you start fighting people, start you know what i mean falling tripping over everybody you know can handle you know can handle your shit next one is false crack false crack just means to get punched like just because the word false is in there that doesn't mean they're not going to hit you so if somebody says oh you like one well, false crack <laughs> they're trying to square up bro always get that patient brother that wait for a perfect window so he can slip that one uppercut The next one is Hambalala. I remember, <laughs> I remember saying this. I don't know if anybody even says this anymore, but I remember saying Hambalala every time somebody did something wrong. So really, it's just an expression like, <gasps> I'm gonna tell, but we used to be like Hambalala. Anybody else said Hambalala? Like, or is that just like me? Was that just me? I don't know. The next one is Valaau. Valaau is to start conversation. Valaau, you know, we eat, sleep, Valaau, a little bit, small kind, talk story, that kind of stuff. Talk story, 
conversation usually with the ones you love your neighbors that you consider friends Balao. the next one is caboose caboose i don't know if anybody does this anymore but i remember if you farted you caboose okay you caboose you didn't do it <laughs> if you didn't caboose then you you farted you the one that did it and um you can't come to nobody's house no more but you either caboose this way or caboose this way i don't know like i don't know the shit we do in hawaii right the next one is hooky when we say hooky it's like you're playing hooky you're gonna skip school usually it's like skip school my grandma mainly will pick us up from Hawaii elementary school and um say that we got dentist appointments and shit <laughs> but really we're playing hooky she'll take us to the, uh, Chuck E. cheese or she'll take us like um to the monopole truck and just you know play hooky but that is all that i have for you guys right now i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know down in the comments um please let me know what um hamajang means because i totally forgot thank you guys so much for watching i really enjoy you guys being here i really enjoy you guys watching all of my hawaii videos i really enjoy and i thank you guys so much for supporting these videos because they they make me happy okay i really love sharing where i'm from with you guys and all of that so <laughs> If you guys have anything to add, please let me know and we can keep this going as always, as I've always said in the past three videos. If you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and check them out. Um, they're very fun and you guys can learn more there as well. Okay. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Shoot.